Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1154. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, just yesterday, I did Excel Magic Trick 1153, and we talked about unique count for name and date. So here, we only had these two columns. Now we did a pivot table array formula and remove duplicates. In this video, we want to add a single criteria. So there's a third requirement. We have to look through this column, find the unique record. So this constitutes one, two of the same records. But we're only interested in the quads. That will be our criteria. So we have to join these two columns, consider whether they're unique, and take into consideration a criteria from a third column. Now, you got to go and watch this video, because in that video, I show you how we do the join column for pivot table and how we did our array formula. We're just going to add a condition. Here's the array formula we did. Notice that in the data array, we did our match. Now, now that we have a third criteria, we don't want all of these values. So we're simply going to, for the data array, instead of dumping all of the matches, we're going to add a condition. if. And I'm going to highlight this column. In the last video, I added a name. In fact, I'm going to do that here. Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Shift F3 from the top column. Now this is called criteria. So we come here, if, and then criteria. There it is. If you're equal to quad, this is going to create some trues and falses, which will filter the match. Notice the logical test. This is also going to create uh, new requirement in how we enter this formula. But let's check this out. Now, the value of true is all of the match. We want to leave the false empty, so that will insert falses into our resultant array. But I have to make sure and put a close parenthesis. Now, we talked about last video. If the array is coming from the frequency, which is an array function, then the functions on the outside that house it are not going to require, this form is not going to require Control Shift Enter. But there is a caveat. One, and I mentioned this one in my book, Control Shift Enter. Anytime you have a logical test with an array operation in there, that will trump anything else and uh, require Control Shift Enter. In the book, I call this the if function trump rule. So if I hit Enter, yeah, okay, it's okay. going to give me a value error. In array formulas, if the formula requires Control Shift Enter and you see this error, it says you forgot to use the special keystroke, so F2. Now I'm going to tell Excel that I want to enter this as an array formula with Control Shift Enter. Okay. Immediately, I look up to the formula bars. I see my curly brackets. That's Excel telling me that it understood that this is an array formula. So there's the count. Now let's go see. That's the array formula, right? Let's go see how to do it with a pivot table. Now we have our added third column, but we have our join column. Now the trick is you have to have Excel 2013 to get access to the distinct count. So I'm going to click in a single cell, go to Insert, Pivot Table, or use the keyboard Alt and V. The trick is you have to add this to the data model. I'm going to say Existing Sheet Location, say G1, and click OK. Here is our pivot table field list. I'm simply going to drag the join down to values. That's exactly how many records there are, 89. I'm going to drag criteria down to filter. I'm going to come down and say select multiple items. Uncheck, I want to uncheck Carlota, click OK. So there's 45 total records with quad. But now I'm going to do this magic in Excel 2013 because I've added to the data model. Right click, Value Field Settings. And sure enough, I go to the bottom of the list. And instead of product, I see distinct count, click OK. Wow, so pivot table in Excel 2013. Now we want to look at one other example. I'm going to click on Power Query. And as always, we have an amazing online Excel team and Bill Sizes, who always has amazing solutions in Excel. He's one of the smartest Excel guys I've ever met. He uh, actually sent me a little private video about how to do this with Power Query. So you ready? I've already created this as a table. So I go up to Power Query from Table. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to Criteria column and click the drop down and Filter. We only want to see Quad. 
then I need to highlight all the columns. I'm going to select the first one, hold Shift, and then click on the last one, and go up to Remove Duplicates. Now check that out. That icon is the same over in Excel. Back in 1153, we saw how to use this in native Excel. I'm going to say Remove Duplicates. Now we have our distinct filtered rows. We want to come over to Transform and check that out. Count Rows. Click on Count Rows. There's our answer. But we can go back and Save and Load To as a table, Existing Worksheet, Collapse button, select cell F4, click OK, click Load, boom, check that out. So one, two columns unique records with an additional third column with criteria. We can use Power Query to get a unique count. We can use Pivot Table and an extra helper column. And we can even use an array formula. All right, love hanging out on our online Excel team. We'll see you next video.